Most people who know me view me as being pretty successful. I've had some amazing opportunities. I was an Air Force pilot. I lived in Jordan and learned Arabic. I did my PhD at Stanford. I founded and led two startups. The challenge, if you thrive on hard problems, is that you also fail a lot. Eating Glass begins as a memoir. I describe a old nonprofit effort I led to use swarms of drones to break starvation sieges in Syria. We had a crazy ambitious idea and made amazing progress. We built a real team. We achieved some breakthrough successes. It was the most perfect experience of my life. And then the wheels came off. Eating glass opens with the day that I burned down three acres of Stanford's campus in a drone crash. For a year and a half, I had given everything to a dream and a vision. I was struggling through my PhD studies. I was undergoing a difficult faith transition as I had to let go of a script that no longer worked for me and discover who I actually was. I wrote Eating Glass because nothing in my experience had prepared me for the reality of prolonged failure. I began writing for myself to understand what I was experiencing. And as I went, I realized the potential for my story to help others navigate theirs. I think we all know that failure is a part of trying hard things. What we don't talk about is just how devastating that failure can be or how you walk that journey through to the other side. There is goodness to be had. There can be great beauty to be had, but it is a journey. My hope is that Eating Glass will speak to those who need a guide through their hard seasons and that it will help begin conversations that we need to have about our feelings of failure and how we help each other through them.